When a fighter pilot is in a doomed situation where staying in their jet would be fatal, they need to eject, and fast. But how does the ejection process actually work? First of all, pilots are always told to eject if they are at all uncertain about their situation. This is why you sometimes see ejections like this one in Fort Worth, because as the saying goes, if in doubt, get out. Once a pilot decides to eject, they must pull the ejection handle, which is usually located between their legs or above their head. As soon as the ejection handle is pulled, the canopy is either blasted away using high powered pistons or simply shattered. Once the path is clear, rocket motors under the seat ignite, launching the pilot upwards with a force of 15 to 20 Gs. This extreme force can sometimes cause serious health issues, potentially preventing the pilot from flying again. After this, a small drogue chute attached to the seat deploys, stabilizing the pilot and slowing the descent. Finally, the pilot and seat separate, allowing the main parachute to deploy. From there, the pilot drifts down, waiting for a rescue helicopter. That is, if they aren't captured by enemy forces.